heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. Proverbs 15 verse 13. 15 verse 13. A happy heart makes the face cheerful. In other words, it comes from inside and reflects on the outside. The same way, if you are afraid, I can tell. It shows on your face, your countenance. How many of you know that? I may not know what you're thinking, but you're, it reflects. Remember what I told you, Proverbs 17, uh, 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 27 verse 19. As in water face answers to face, so the mind of man reflects the man. I told you that your life is a reflection of your thoughts. So if you are happy inside, it reflects on your face. If you are sad inside, it reflects on your face. If you are fearful inside, it will reflect. Uh, you look afraid. You look as if you have seen a ghost. Hey, what's up? You look very sad. You look very sick. You didn't say anything, but they can see it. It's reflecting. So if you are happy inside, it shows in your face. And every employer is looking for a cheerful person. Imagine going to a receptionist who cannot smile. He won't last on the job. A salesperson who is always angry every time they talk, he will just get out here. If you don't want to buy, get out. You won't sell. You will very soon you will start to pray and fast and pray that customers will come because all the one God sent you have driven them away. Cheerfulness. Even when they are saying rubbish and saying things that offend, you are still smiling and taking it with you know with grace. <laughs> the thing is spending you, but you are still smiling. You always tell yourself, a customer is always right. <laughs> That's consolation. You are using it to console yourself. A customer is always right. Cheerfulness is good for you. It shows on your face. And so that's why when you are cheerful, people want to relate with you. People want to be your friend. Don't be a stone-faced man. There are some people, if you look at them like this, immediately you would say, this one cannot be close to this one. Because you are afraid. But he may not be like that. He may be a very nice person. The only thing is that his face is looking very, you know, <laughs> terrifying, eh? Praise God. So all of us must learn to smile. I will not forget what one pastor's wife told me one day. He said, Pastor, why is it that your face is always serious? Many years ago. So all the pictures that you use, your face is always that you smile, smile. So the thing keeps ringing in my head. And I'm sure God sent her so that I will always remember to do a smile. So every time I remember the woman's voice in my head, I will smile. Honestly, if you are smiling, you will live longer. Your body will relax more. Like I said, it takes more muscles, facial muscles to frown than it takes to smile. So every time you are angry, you are using up more muscles. You are draining life. You are squeezing yourself. You are choking yourself. So smile. Laugh. Laugh. But heartache crushes the spirit. 